Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I just want to get straight to the point today, inshallah ta'ala. I'm going to discuss something that is probably in some ways the most important thing I really have ever said on YouTube. And that is, what is the way to victory? How do you attain victory? And so I want to give you some narrations of the Prophet that are very clear about this. Now, when I give you these narrations, you'll say, oh, that sounds pretty easy, but it's not easy at all. Not at all. So let's discuss this very quickly, inshallah ta'ala. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm going to read the Arabic and then the English for each one of these narrations. Khairu Sahaba Arba. The best of companions are four, meaning a person should have four best friends. You should have four people who you can confide in in aspects of your life. Okay, and imagine you have, you know, you, four people that are your Sahaba, meaning in this case, it's not like the Prophet and the Sahaba, but what I'm trying to say is that over here, Sahaba here means. People you can bring to your difficulties in, in, in life, your spiritual difficulties, your whatever difficulties. There are four people you look up to that you would take advice from. Okay? Khairu Sahaba Arba. So the best of companions are four. Okay? And imagine if every Muslim chose for himself four people he looks up to, right? And he had access to them and would be able to talk to them and would be like honest to them. You're not supposed to tell your sins to everyone. But there's some people that you can confide in so that you can overcome those sins. So, خير السحاب أربعة وخير السرايا أربعة مئة. So the Prophet, the best uh, a detachment or a battalion, okay, for an army uh, is four hundred. وخير جيوش أربعة آلاف. And the best army is an army of four thousand people. ولا يغلب إثنا عشرة عشرة ألف من القلة. And 12,000 will not be overcome because of lack of numbers. You see, whenever Muslims had an army of 12,000 or more, you could take Taliban as an example. You could take even Tablighi Jamaat as an example, a very large organization, until they were divided. They were affecting the Ummah in a very positive way, right? So, Khairu Sahab Arba, Wa Khairu Saraya Arba Mia, Wa Khairu Jayush Arba Alab, Wa Lan Yaghlibu Ithnat Ashra Alfa Min Al Qilla. Okay, the best number of companions is four. The best detachment or battalion is four hundred. The uh, and the best army is four thousand and twelve thousand. So four eight twelve. So three of these four hundred four thousands, right? So if people come together, right, with this intention that li kalimatillahiyyuliyah to make the word of Allah supreme, we will come together in in groups of twelve thousand, twelve thousand, twelve thousand, right? There's so much to be said, but this is not as easy as 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 just saying this because you see, uh, people have jealousy. Why is he the leader? Oh, why does he get to do this? Why does he get to give uh, this speech? Or why does he get to uh, make the decision to where the convention will be? Or why do we have to gather in his uh, his house for uh, learning Quran? Right? What? These are the human elements that will not let twelve thousand people come together easily. And it, you know, in, in one of the hadiths, the Prophet said that everything is put together by the tongue. Meaning, what the Prophet says, you know, all of the things that you do, like, cannot be done. The collective work of Islam, da'wah, jihad, fighting for justice, you know, all those things can't be done if you can't control your mouth. Because somebody in the jama'ah, somebody in the, in, in the jama'ah is going to backbite somebody. Somebody's going to hurt somebody's feeling. What do they do? They, they, they retaliate or they have to forgive. To keep moving on, you got to forgive. Right? In another narration, Kitabu Jihad, right? Abu Dawud, he says, Khairu Sahaba Arba. The best of companions are four. Wa Khairu Saraya Arba Mia. And the best of detachment is um, 400. Wa Khairu Jayush Arba Alaf. And the best army is it, consisting of 4,000 people who love Allah and His Messenger, right? وَلَنْ يَغْلِبُوا إِثْنَةَ عَشْرَ أَلْفًا مِنَ الْقِلَّةِ And 12,000 will not be overcome because of lack of numbers. In another narration, <coughs> this is in Ibn Majah, a companion of the Prophet says, يَا يَا أَكْتَمْ يَا أَكْتَمْ أُزْ مَا غَيْرِ قَوْمِكْ Fight in the path of Allah, meaning when you're, when you're fighting. Fight with people that are not from your people, from your tribe. يَحْسِنْ خُلْقُكَ It'll make your character beautiful. You notice they're doing jihad, right? 
And this person's teaching you how to have a good character in even the process of of this apparent violence, right? Or to to remove this cancer from society. يَحْسُنْ خُلْقُكَ وَتُكَرِّمْ عَلَى رفقائك. And you will be generous with your companions. Your رفيقة is a word used in Quran. حَسَنَتْ هَؤُلَائِكَ رفيقة. رفيق is your companion, right? يَأَكْتَمْ خَيْرُ خَيْرُ رُفَقَ أَرْبَعَ The best of companions are four. وَخِرُ سَيَّارَ أَرْبَعَ And the best detachment or uh, battalion is 400. وَخَيْرُ جَيُوشْ And the best army is a 4,000. And then he says لَنْ يَغْلِبُ إِثْنَجَ عَشَرَ أَلْفَ مِنَ الْقِلَّةِ 12,000 will not be destroyed, will not be overcome because of lack of numbers. It could be because you're backbiting, because you're spying, because you're being munafiq, because you're not being loyal to the Amir, you don't have sama wa ata, listen and obey. You you know your problem will be your own problem if you have twelve thousand and you can't and you are overcome. That will be a problem because of a problem that you have. In another narration, okay, this is in Tirmazi. Khairu sahaba arba. The best companions are four. Wa khairu saraya arba mia. The best of the battalion is 400. And the best of army is 4,000. And 12,000 cannot be overcome because of lack of numbers. Right? So whenever there have been a large number of Muslims coming together, 12,000 is the key. Some Muslim, whether the Amid is good or bad, these are all side things. But the fact that you are organized, and when you are organized, let me just end by this point today. When you are organized, others will come to you and say, how can we help you? How can we do what you want? Because when you are organized, I mean, I need to talk about this one day in, in more detail, but, you know, when you are organized, that is, and people see you're organized, and you have 12,000 hearts beating as one, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 12,000 hearts Beating as one, not divided, under one Amir, under one listen and obey commandment, it will be so scary that people will come to you and say, Okay, look, what can we do for you? Right? Because they'll be scared of this 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 coming together of, of people. In every Muslim city, I wish there was somebody who would stand up for justice and and, and establish a jama'ah of twelve thousand Muslims who are on a single heart, in one heart. Now it's easy said, but extremely, because shaitan will start working against people, and shaitan will create hasad, shaitan will create tafarqa, shaitan will create arguments, and so on and so forth. But if you if you do enough Qur'an and adhkar and remembrance of Allah, that that shield is given to you where shaitan can't penetrate and make affect you, and you have 12,000 people like that under one amir, that's powerful. That is powerful. That is the work to do. Then you have, imagine 12,000 people somewhere in the world, they're focusing only on da'wah. And 12,000 people, you know, they're focusing, in a, they're in another part of the world, but they're focusing mostly on studying the deen, right? And another 12,000 people, they're standing up for justice. Another 12, you can, they will not be overcome. They will achieve their goals. They will destroy the Soviet Union and any other world power that would come in their way because of this saying of the Prophet wasallam that is, very, very, you know, it's this hadith is Hassan, and it's Hassan, and it has many, many chains, like I gave, uh, showed you today. So, this is what I'm trying to push to. This is the Mahdi model. This is what the Prophet did, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is what Hussein did to revive Islam back from kingship back to Khilafah, radiyallahu an. And this is what the Mahdi will also do in the future. And we have to start following from from. Now we have to start establishing this model so when the Mahdi comes, it's a known model. It's understood. This is the mo- this is how we have to come together. Right? Anyway, so let's end here. Aqul qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'al muslimin wa muslimat. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas. Zakumullah khairan as-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Hello, Allah.